Non-stop rescue efforts underway right now after Hurricane Milton roared across Florida. First responders going door to door in boats and high water vehicles. So far, there are at least 10 confirmed deaths, but that number is expected to grow. ABC's Jacqueline Lee is in St. Petersburg. Tonight, millions across Florida getting their first look at the deadly, catastrophic damage and widespread flooding caused by Hurricane Milton. Milton triggering at least 38 reported tornadoes and the most tornado warnings in a single day ever for Florida. Christy Austin lives on the eighth floor of her apartment building. What was last night like? It was horrifying. Sounded like waves hitting our windows. Across from her apartment, Tropicana Field, home to the Tampa Bay Rays, the stadium roof shredded. The roof here at Tropicana Field was meant to withstand winds of up to 115 miles an hour. Last night, wind gusts clocked 101 miles an hour. But as you can see, the roof was no match for Hurricane Milton. Tonight, the view inside. As it became clear that there was going to be something of that magnitude that's going to, that was going to be within the distance, they, um, they redeployed them out of Tropicana. It had just been filled with cots as a shelter for 10,000 emergency workers. Stephen Cavaris lives nearby. When you rode out the storm last night, what were you feeling? What were you hearing? Uh, definitely heavy amounts of wind. Uh, very, very, very gusty. Tonight, the massive search and rescue operation now underway. Orange County Fire Rescue waiting in waist deep waters to rescue stranded residents. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office going door to door on boats and in high water vehicles. Tonight, they say they've rescued more than 725 people and counting. Among them, 135 residents from a senior living facility. And this 14 year old boy floating on a piece of fence. <laughs> as rescues across the storm zone go on around the clock. 